Control your destiny or someone else will. You draw up a blueprint before you build a house. You read a recipe before you bake a cake. In the same way, you choose who you want to become so you can actively make that happen. Let me show you how to do that using your imagination. Find a place where you can be alone without interruption. Now clear your mind of everything. Don't worry about school, friends, family, or that zit on your forehead. Just focus on me. Breathe deeply and open your mind. In your mind's eye, visualize someone walking towards you about a half block away. As this person gets closer and closer, you suddenly realize, believe it or not, that it's you. But it's not you today, it's you as you would like to be one year from now. Now think deeply. What have you done with your life over the past year? How do you feel inside? What characteristics do you possess? Remember, this is you as you would like to be one year from now. You can float back to reality now. If you were a good sport and actually tried this experiment, you probably got in touch with your deeper self. You got a feel for what's important to you and what you'd like to accomplish this next year. That's called beginning with the end in mind. And it doesn't even hurt. In fact, thinking beyond today can be really exciting. Why is this so important? I'll give you two reasons. First is that you are at a critical crossroads in life. And the paths you choose now can affect you forever. The second is that if you don't decide your own future, someone else will do it for you. So if it's so important, how do you do it? The best way I found is to write a personal mission statement. A personal mission statement is like a personal credo or motto that states what your life is about. They come in all types and varieties. Some are long and some are short. Some teens have used their favorite quote as a mission statement. Others have used a photograph or a picture. A personal mission statement is like a tree with deep roots. It is stable and isn't going anywhere, but is also alive and constantly growing. You need a tree with deep roots to help you survive all of the storms of life that beat you up. As you probably noticed already, Life is anything but stable. Think about it. People are fickle. Your boyfriend loves you one minute and dumps you the next. You're someone's best friend one day and they're talking behind your back the next. Think about all the events you can't control. You have to move. You have to lose your job. Your parents are getting a divorce. While everything about you changes, a personal mission statement can be your deep rooted tree that never moves. You can deal with change if you have an immovable trunk to hang on to. The Great Discovery. The Great Discovery is a fun activity designed to help you get in touch with your deepest self as you prepare to write a mission statement. Answer the questions honestly. 
when you're finished, I think you'll have a much better idea of what inspires you, what you enjoy doing, whom you admire, and where you want to take your life. Number one, think of a person who made a positive difference in your life. What, what qualities does that person have that you would like to develop? Number two, imagine 20 years from now when you are now surrounded by the most important people in your life. Who are they and what are they doing? Number three, if a steel beam were placed across two skyscrapers, well, what would you be willing to cross? A thousand dollars, a million, your pet, your brother, fame? Think carefully. Number four, list 10 things you love to do. It could be singing, dancing, looking at magazines, drawing, reading, daydreaming, anything you absolutely love to do. Number five, five years from now, your local paper does a story about you and they want to interview three people, a parent, a brother and sister, and a friend. What would you want them to say about you? Number six, think of something that represents you. A rose, a song, an animal. Why does it represent you? Number seven, if you could spend an hour with any person who ever lived, who would that be? Why that person? What would you ask? Number eight, everyone has one or more talents. Which in the following list are you good at? You can also write down ones that are not listed. Good with numbers, good with words, creative thinking, athletics, making things happen, sensing needs, artistic, working well with people, decision-making, accepting others, speaking, writing, dancing, listening, singing, humorous, sharing, music. Now that you've taken the time to walk through the great discovery, you've got a good jump start on developing a mission statement. You're not writing it for your English teacher and it's not gonna be graded by anyone. It is your secret document. So make it sing. The most important question to ask yourself is, does it inspire me? If you can answer yes, you did it right. Well, you, this reminds me of our, our favorite scripture, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Do you have a revelation that you can visit your future on the canvas of your imagination as often as you want to go and you can stay as long as you need to stay until your faith is secure in your future. I hope you do it. I hope you journal and write things down. I hope you record it in your memory. But more than anything, I hope you spend time in the presence of God discovering who you are are, and even more importantly, whose you are. I better let you guys go, but I want you to know that I, I miss you so much and I love you with my real heart. I can't wait to hug on you and kiss on you again. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I truly believe in you. Bye now.